feel trill. Why would I care? For every black actor, got a billion dollars from Black Panther. My friend's mum died from mad cancer. The YG's let off the dot in a chicken shop. Across the road from Santander. And they actually think that that's gangster. Genocidal like Rwanda. So fuck Disney and Wakanda. Why would I care if Paige was eating it? Morning, people. Once again, this is Major Talented Ones, episode 11. And once again, we got a very special guest up in here. All my guests are special. This one's very special once again. We got Jedi, Red Pill, Trail, what's going on, my brother? Come on, big yourself, G. Yes, my yes, brother. Yes, yes, Long yes. overdue. Mm. So we got to really um get into the bones of this one as well. Right. Um, And as I said, I mean, I always start with, because I mean, you're a man of many facets. You don't just do one, one thing, you do many things. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to start from the music vibe, because for me personally, there's only a, I mean, I, I respect a small range of artists and you're definitely one of the lyricists man that i really respect and bring oh, highly respect, and respect, doing right. so in the music um you know john i mean how long have you been doing music for and you know i mean how long is it i mean what inspired you to do it so it's like a double double you know, charge question i'm gonna be i'm gonna be, be full of um cliches and say that i've always been a lover of music for as far back as i can remember from my first music lesson in in primary school mm -hmm. to the first um records that i started playing out of my mum's collection um you know my mum actually had i don't know how why she had it yeah because okay. she like i'm first generation so my mom's like a african nigerian lady um she had doggy star <laughs> snoop dog doggy star but i don't know why she had it and she had she had like a CD, uh, a vinyl with, like, I think it was like a collector's edition of vinyl of this doggy style thing, bro. Mm -hmm. And I'd been listening to bear of their different musics and that the, on the record player. Mm -hmm. And I put this doggy style thing on and, and it was raining. I remember listening to it and thinking, yo, this is dope. Ain't no leaving till six in the morning. morning. I didn't know nothing what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't even explicit to me. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And that was what, nice. 394 so yeah, yeah i yeah, think yeah. that from then i remember uh when I, I i was at one of my friends house or something like that i remember i made up a lyric testing testing one two three something 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 i don't know what i was talking about but then everyone was like oh that's really good so i thought like yeah i'm good in music mm -hmm. and then i just used to love playing music and looking out my window that was my favorite thing play music and then watch What's going on? Watch. Yeah. And, you know, it's really, because you know what? It's really funny you say that because me, I, I got into music myself with my uncle. This is like I was about six, seven. My uncle used to like do, um, used to like do toasting, innit? Yeah, DJing, yeah. Innit? And he could freestyle. And mm. I was so amazed yeah. by him making up something on the on spot. The spot about what I'm wearing yeah, and what he's yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. I was amazed. Because like, yeah, in my head, dope. I'm thinking, you have to write, you have it, to down. write it down. And then my yeah. first bar was Detonator Terminator. And I just said it over and over again. <laughs> to us at that time, yeah, yeah. that was the best bars. Because yeah, yeah. I put two words together. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's big. So, I mean, in relation to, um, so how long have you been doing I mean, obviously, you got into music as you know, uh, as a that. youngster. Yeah, well, I'm talking um, about from the time when you did a first tune. All right, wait, like, wait, yeah, wait, wait. Me, so bro. first, wait, first, just to go. Then my brethren's in school. They were on a jungle thing, mm -hmm. and then it's like they were already slightly into it, and then I kind of got introduced to jungle. I, I was walking around uh, 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 firehouse. Um, what do you call it? Sumner Estate in Peckham. Mm -hmm. And there was spare music coming from one drum. I, I kind of walked towards it. I was like, you. Mm. And it's like, I see one of my brethren. And he was like, oh, yeah, Jedi, like, yeah, well, come. And then I went in and it was playing Jungle. And everyone was doing this dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Like, yeah, yeah, it was really this dance. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, this is dope. So that's my first dance. Mm -hmm. And then from then, the Jungle thing I was kind of feeling. And then my brethren decided that they was going to, one of my friends had a, some turntables and we could go to his yard, you know, my mixed mates friend, you know, mm -hmm. like. You yeah. always yeah. get one. Yeah, let, get one. Yeah, let, yeah. let people in the yard and all them things there. Yeah, yeah. You can smoke in the yard yeah. and all these things there. So big up man like Riddler, do you know what I mean? My brethren Aaron. So we went to his yard and we was mixing and we went to my next brethren Ramiz's yard and then we just we formed a clique called the Merciless Crew. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And then I started writing lyrics and I, I don't know, I was like naturally I felt like I was naturally good at it and <laughs> people was enjoying it. And yeah, it just kept on from there. And then, yeah, just on the jungle thing, man, already had a, a couple jungle lyrics in his back pocket anytime I touch a dance and 
Yeah, hey, let me get on the mic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Operational, fully functional, <laughs> incredible physical, alphanumerical, the lyrical miracle, subliminal, criminal, get a hysterical, take you to the pinnacle, run like a cannibal, man like a cannibal, manager, man, like venable, with a bad boy still, that's radical, get magical like a fireball, fallible like a mineral, sit on the mic, I'm terrible, damn right, indestructible, survival, best to read the Bible, break a spinal with your vinyl, this one felt just like a tidal, got you feeling suicidal, break down every syllable, come like digital, despicable, individual, get spiritual, the invisible, <laughs> lyrical style is unmissable, <laughs> original. <laughs> So yeah, you know, the, the was maddest just... thing. <laughs> you're the first person to bust bars on the show. Come on, so come this on. Is what Jedi is on. Yeah, those and are the only bars I know of my heart. <laughs> but you're a man of rare, rare bars because, as I said, yeah. one thing I I realized with you because I mean I've seen you perform before, mm. um, listen to your music as well. You're very, very, very. Your wordplay is phenomenal. Yeah. Right? Your wordplay is very um and you're very um what's the word thought provoking as well. Mm. You know, you don't want to say A B C yeah, rap your yeah. something to make you, know you think. Yeah, something to make you think. Because as I said, even with your videos, it's like it's more of a revolutionary kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. You've got a message to say. Always. You're very on that soldier march, soldier mm. step thing. Um so but all right, so you know, you did that and then obviously your first and then I, I went I went to, went to jail. You know, like I said, I'm gonna be full of cliches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went to jail, boom, 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 come out, chilling in my hostel one time. Mm -hmm. My brethren, raw deal, said, yo, what are you doing? I said, no, nah. he said, oh, I'm going to a studio up in Streatham Hill. Mm -hmm. I was in, where was I? I was in Croydon or something. I said, yeah, I'm going to a studio in Streatham Hill. Do you want to roll? I said, yeah, I roll with you, G. So realistically, you, you've, you've more been on the southern side of, the, of that London. Yeah, I'm a South London yeah. youth. I'm from Peckham. Mm -hmm. You get me? I'm a South London youth through and through. That's it. That's mm -hmm. in my veins. But um, yeah, so yeah, man went there, man went studio, I wrote a lyric, like my first rap lyric seemed like it was all right. I, I enjoyed trying to rap on the beat and use the mic and learn microphone Mic technique control, and yeah, 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 and, that. yeah, yeah. and then I was like, yeah, sick. Went studio with one of my brethren. We done the same thing. I smashed one tune, my, like my first actual tune, like it was just crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking about what's love got to do with it and I'm just, running game on the gallium and yeah it was good then i was like yo i just want to keep going back to studio the bug was there bug was bug there. there yeah then man went back to bug. jail yeah you went back to jail then again. i went back to jail now, went... was it obviously was it for foolishness was it for i mean i don't really want to flipping bring you know I mean? yeah no no was this is like, really, like listen yeah. man this is about true talk so i ain't really got nothing to hide you yeah. get me like um yeah man was going to jail for like robberies violence with the robberies and just kind of like street life do you mm -hmm. know what i mean but everything was all about making money it was money money orientated yeah. but yeah man wasn't the best i must not have been the best criminal and i was young as well so mm -hmm. i was getting jail went jail at 15 do you know what i mean couldn't buy a cigarette couldn't do this went felt um mm -hmm. in with the big fish of criminals and rare 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 and obviously like my personality like i hold it up in it like mm -hmm. just you know what i mean so even if i weren't the baddest of bad I was very, very respected and dangerous because I'd just lick <laughs> off your face if you tried it. But it, you know what I mean? Honestly, <laughs> once again, you see, because obviously anybody moving around one of the baddest are bad. Yeah. There's certain people who are insecure to the point where they have to put up Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. In order I, to, I never had that you know issue. I mean? And if it's within yourself just to be a soldier within yourself, yeah. you don't have nothing to prove. Nothing to prove. You know what I mean? And that makes it hard for people to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I try again. All right, so in relation to that then, I mean, what, what year was it that you kind of, um? and I'm saying, what, when did your first project come out? Like, what was... All right. That, that's that's this, really you know when you got your project getting. to say yo this is my thing this is what I'm using to represent my, me and okay, how I do so things. after a couple stints in there, I linked up with my brethren. Um, I linked up with one guy called um, Decker, mm -hmm. Kid Gully. Like, it's, it's just a phenomenal art. It's something that like people just don't. I don't know. You can't describe Kid Gully. Mm -hmm. He's just one of the best. And yeah, we linked up with their music, the, 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 you know, exercise yard and all that come out. And um, we, we had this group called um, GBH, Ghetto Born Hustlers, Gorillas Born Hungry and Government Built Housing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, we made a, uh, I put together a, a project called Bread in Captivity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but obviously this thing was born out of jail. You get yeah. me? So it was Bread in Captivity and we put that out and that was very well received like and we got loads of physical copies i linked my goc back in the days he printed up my um my, my, my cover for my cd we got the cds printed up and then i'll just hit the roads with the mandem 
and we just used our, our natural hustling skills, shotting skills or whatever, and started giving it out. And it's like, yeah, we had a little buzz. People knew about us and, you know, like, and it started from there. So Bread in Captivity, that's still available. You can listen to that on... I uploaded it to SoundCloud. That recent, not 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 too long ago. So check out SoundCloud Red Pill Trill. Put it up on the screen. It's gonna be yeah. Up there. SoundCloud yeah. Red Pill Trill, one yeah. word, and you can hear that breading captivity thing. And when you listen to that, you will be like, okay, so I don't even know how it was just <laughs> mad. We that's just, that's one bad. thing with the names that like yeah. like, like, like the Red Pill Trill. That's got a very powerful you know, yeah. name to it. And then obviously the Jedi thing. I just think of lightsabers yeah. and the force and them thing that fire. You are for mm. forceful bread. So as I said, in the, in the sense of okay, so you, that project came out. Um and then I mean how many projects have you got all together? Me um so there's a about five. About six. five projects. Okay. Like different yeah and the thing with my my thing is I got it in my head from a very uh, early stage that I was going to be a conceptual artist because mm-hmm. I'm an artist at heart. A lot of people don't know that I'm into art and mm-hmm. like painting and I can creating. See it, but I, I can see that. Do you know what I mean? Especially making the way your stuff. videos exactly. Are. So, yeah. so for me, everything was about art. So everything that I put out, I I would like change my name. Mm-hmm. So like the first mixtape that I was out on with the uh, with the GBH, I was called Fugzilla. Mm-hmm. Fogzilla the blood spiller <laughs> do you know what I mean yeah and it was but he was a conscious youth but mm-hmm. then everyone knows I'm Jedi in it so yeah. it's like Fogzilla but it's Jedi in it you know it's Jedi in it mm-hmm. and then I changed my name to I don't know maybe Jedi and then I've done another mi- mixtape where I was Jedi 7 mm-hmm. do you know what I mean so I used my whole name and then I, I put the 7 in there because Jedi means 7 it's a deep thing mm-hmm. Jedi means 7 literally and it's like my number so I did Jedi 7 and then I switched up again and now I've done Red Pill Trill. Mm-hmm. So Red Pill, with Red Pill Trill, I've put out like Hard Pill to Swallow, mm-hmm. um, another EP called Trilluminated. And I've done a joint mixtape with my brother Todd's um, called uh, Venom and Carnage. And these yeah? things are all out? On yeah, the- they're, they're, they're all yeah. available. They're yeah. there, man. You can go check them out. Um, so yeah, I, it was like, each one of them have got different sounds, even though all, I never, I've never made two tunes that sound the same. <laughs> never. But that's that's part of the art, though. Yeah, that's exactly. Part, that's part of the art, because obviously, you know, what I mean, you, you see an artist drawing pictures like where where it be cat work for cancer, but the style might be the same, but the, mm. the picture's different. There's a yeah, different, you yeah. Know what I mean, we moving on that timeline of different times, it's always, and different inspirations. So be, because I'm trying to be this guy that that delivers something organic, mm-hmm. the music might might. It just they just sound different when you play them next to each other. They just sound different. Uh, do you know? It's, so I mean, I, I, you might even be like, right? Is this you? I'm like, yeah. But man. I think the thing is, what I do like about it is yeah. a lot of the time when people they want to they want something that they're used to. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So if there if there's something that they're used to and then you change it, then they have to kind of reevaluate Re- what they yeah, like. But yeah, if yeah, you yeah. like the art, like I said, yeah. there's one thing about you, you're about the art. Yeah. So you're not you're not gonna sound weak. You know and what I mean? The, you the might co- change the format. The core of me. Yeah is gonna be there yeah i feel like i grew up on artists that did that mm-hmm. so the core of the person is there it don't matter if he's on the r b rhythm mm-hmm. or on a grime rhythm or on a jungle rhythm mm-hmm. or what it's the same artist like do you know what i mean and i feel like growing up in the uk mm-hmm. my in my head rapping is rapping whatever tempo you choose to use is do you know what i mean whatever rhyme scheme you choose to use whatever but it's the same thing yeah. so Jungle, the, the garage, same, the rap, same way, Bashman, with all rap. This, there's a certain timing, <laughs> and certain certain people are not too good. Mm. Their timing is off. Right, they might right, use right, the right. wrong amount of syllables. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. yeah, yeah Remember, yeah. Your, your your vocal is an instrument within itself. That's true. Yeah, and if I'm yeah. playing a piano and and the, and the person's playing a drum and they're not at the same time, it's going to yeah, sound, sound mad. So yeah, there's yeah. always about the mathematics of timing. It's, there's a math so there still. Whether, whether it be jungle, like how you were spitting that jungle there before, yeah. whether it be you know I mean rap, whether it be this, whether it be that, whether it be R and B, there's a different timing to it, but. You know, I mean, as an artist, you need to make your instrument sound insane. Yeah. And this is one thing you do very well. So, um, and I'm going to also say, I mean, in relation to your influences, because obviously you said, you know, you listen to the Snoop, but was there any artist that you was like, fuck, you know, every time you hear them, it's, it's a mad thing, like, or somebody who made you, like, or should I say, somebody who makes you want to write better? Um, well, then it was other certain artists, but now it's other artists. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, I don't even, so 
I think the artist I can say hands down that probably inspired me the most at at, at, at the foundation mm-hmm. had to be Tupac still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I was um, I was uh, a fan of the rebel, the rebellious vibration that he was tapping into. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. it really spoke to me. Mm-hmm. So that was like the one of the main artists Tupac said Rah, don't listen don't fuck with these man don't fuck with them man so I weren't listening to these man mm-hmm. you know when you're very young and childish and that and um yeah I just enjoyed the music that he was putting out uh as I got older like I stopped I stopped listening to Tupac when I found out certain mm-hmm. things really I can now listen to Tupac again but I think I have to separate because I I must have saw him as more than just an artist do you know what I mean? Yeah, and which yeah. is not something that I do anymore. But for some, at it, that stage, he he was marketed so well to yeah. me that I'm like, it's yeah. weird because I mean I've seen certain interviews, marketing um, and and with the interviews, but I can't remember what's the guy's name again? Michael something, the, the kung fu guy. Michael Jai White. Yeah, yeah. And he, and he was saying that basically, obviously he's known Tupac before. He said Tupac changed after he did the Juice. When he mm. did Juice, and then it's like he evoked that character. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's who he was. Mm. Trying, and he was different people. Mm. Um, and, and I could see that to a certain point because at the end of the day, like one thing we always forget about that is Tupac was mad young when he died. Mm, do you know mm, what I mean? Yeah, so we, yeah, yeah. We, we, you're going through the, the, the adolescent, I mean, the, the kid stage, the adolescent stage. So like, well, he died at what, 24, 20, 25? Mm. So he had only a little bit of time. And, and and now when we listen to all the things that, I mean, Tupac's done, it's, it's a lot for some of it. What are you doing at 24, 25? Mm. Do you know what I mean? But mm. anyway, all right. So you had the two packs. It was weird because when I listened to you, I, I hear more of a, a East Coast, or even though we're in London and you don't sound mm. like I, I sound, I hear more of even the way that you put your rhyme schemes and your bars. Yeah, it's all West There's Coast. More, it's all west coast all my my all my main influence is west coast yeah like that's the, that's a fact all west coast but that's what i'm saying like, yeah. like for me personally when i hear you mm. I, I hear more like 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 a woo or, or yeah yeah we was there we was definitely up there mm. 36 chambers mm. and all that we was definitely like probably some of the i'll uh, tell you who who i um listen to on the east coast for influence it was definitely i would say Buster Rhymes, the coming album was one of the was one of the influences. Um uh, Wu Tang and all the obscure Wu Tang members. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? All of them from, from Buddha Monk to Royal Fam. Yeah, to all of, yeah, and, yeah. You know we was in that Wu Tang yeah, proper. Yeah, yeah. Syndicate. Come on, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we were affiliates, yeah, 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 yeah. We were Sons of Man, yeah. Killer Army. Yeah. Anyway, so we from the Wu, uh, I would say Rough Riders kind of got my attention a little bit still like I seen I seen The Locks Mm -hmm. and DMX they kind of got my attention Um, I listened to a little then I started listening to a little bit of Nori 41st side Mm -hmm. started getting introduced to like Tragedy Gaddafi I'm like okay now I'm hearing proper rappers now right um, uh, there's one from um, one of my favourite artists and I ain't really heard a lot of his songs is um Twin Gambino. Twin, yeah, 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 yeah. It's his voice, cuz. Yeah, the yeah, voice is yeah. just so crud. Yeah. It's like, yo, this is this is like good it, sonics. It, it, I like and, it. I mean, even down to the new age, I mean, what were you thinking of like all oh, Griselda and them and the Conway? Alright, wait, 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 wait. We gotta deliver flowers right. in a row. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, boom, sorry, all right, sorry. so we move from the past. Let's just yeah. move from the past. But those, those are some of the influences. I'm trying to think there's there's probably a couple man that could get their stripes, but the rest is West Coast. Yeah. Sibo, yeah. Yark, Regime, yeah. this man, that man, uh, Killer Tay, Looney Corleone, mm. X-Rated, mm-hmm. oof, T Nutty, these kind of like, yeah, I was very much influenced by these man. Anyway, moving forward. Mm. Um, nowadays, yeah, uh, Conway the Machine is definitely a, a bad boy artist. Mm. I, I fuck with him. The rest of Griselda, I'm not too on. Yeah. Like I like Benny the Butcher, mm-hmm. um, but the squeaky voice brother. And um, Westside. Westside, yeah, it's all right. And then all this fashion and uh, listen, That's, it's cool, yeah, but it's, it's yeah. not. And you got a uh, trust family, like you got. Um, furthermore, one of the dopest, if not the dopest, on the East Coast, hands down, is Ransom. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and that, so Jack, we got, I, even down to with Ransom. Yeah. 
Um, there's an artist that used to be around us. Um, he was back in the day. He was called Tragic. Yeah. Uh, but now he's called um, Rome Streets. Rome Streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used yeah. to be because he, he used to he, live in England. Oh, he is it? He was in London. He, was, he used to rap with us. We used to Don't play, lie. Songs oh, Rome Streets done a mixtape with him, with, isn't it? With yeah, 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 yeah. That's a match. But he's, I, he's cold. Yeah, Mag. His his, his linkage is a nuts thing as well. Like I said, anytime I hear him, I'm like, how are you, how are you doing that? You know what I mean? But in, on the UK kind of vibe, then as well. Yeah. Um, was there anybody that, you know what I mean, you looked at it? Because at the end of the day, when I'm saying the influences, I'm never looking at it like, oh, you, just because they were doing it, um, and you yeah. raised, raised them. But I'm just talking about respect I, the artistry. Yeah, right? another one of my major influences that probably, well, definitely before Pac, mm -hmm. way before Pac, and probably um, a bigger influence than Pac on me because he came so early was Skibbity. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah Cool yeah, FM yeah. rantings. Like mm -hmm. I told you, I was into the jungle and mm -hmm. that, so. Skibidi with the ultra funky fight tongue alongside bass and drum enter listen man like him Skibidi was a different i didn't even know because he didn't reach anywhere near where he should have reached or not. what of he could have done but I who does in, in that sense i'm saying that know. the greatest ones I don't, don't. Know. but like, like Skibidi was a different i don't think people are really even from from where i'm coming from yeah. i don't think people are even understanding, understanding. Yeah, well, what skibba was doing to my mind with mm. his bars mm -hmm. you get me mm -hmm. like and, and to the man them around me, but I don't know. People grew, people got into garage. I weren't really into the garage MCs. I didn't mm. really like I thought, them. Yeah, I thought they were a bit. I thought they were a bit light in the right, sense. Of, yeah. It was very. Um, they could. They were, there was hardly any thought process in what they. You yeah. know what I mean? It was just more of party music. So I didn't really get. To. I didn't really get into all of that. Mm -hmm. If anything, I like the singers out of garage and that with their melodies and whatever. Yeah. And then, um, but yeah, moving forward, ransom nowadays. Uh, uh, 38 special. Oh yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I like Dave East. He jo he's got something about him that he I just enjoy. I don't know what it is. Uh, do you know? I think yeah. I think early Dave East for me personally, I was fucking with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. it's kind of, it came around about the time where where the type of rap that we I like because obviously I think we like the kind of same mm. kind of art. Um, it seemed like it was getting wishy washy, and then certain yeah, people started coming yeah, in. Yeah. So it was weird that like, like people like Dave East and Griselda and so forth and so on, they're doing the music that was supposed to be the level anyway. Yeah, but because it was so wishy washy, that yeah, yeah. seemed like it that was, seemed like, like it was the ooh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, I'm not that's the right. truth. That's the it truth. It inspired me to start writing yeah, again. Yeah, 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 and I'm yeah. thinking, wow, I'm writing these bars and it's gonna be flying over because your people are used to like they used to microwavable food. They're not used to the gourmet shit. Mm -hmm, you know what I mean? But, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so I'd say in moving in relation to it, because we're going to get onto your other, other stuff you do, but musically, is there anything that's on the way out now or so coming in? Well, any any project that you're dealing with right now? Yeah. Because I'm saying you are an artist that needs here's another Here's another cliche for you. Mm -hmm. I've got like 50, 60 songs. Mm -hmm. I've got like mixtape, well, album kind of stuff and rare, rare and really and truly, I'm just trying to pattern up other angles mm -hmm. of of my existence um and get them settled before i release some new music so by by the end of this year i'll be able to focus more mm. and put the music out the plan was to put music out this year i put out a mixtape last year the probably follow-up will probably be there i've got a mixtape with uh, me todds and randy valentine who's like a bad boy uh roots artist reggae artist whatever but hella versatile um i've got a bunch of songs with my bridge in Ababio, like I'm talking about probably about 25 songs with him. Yeah, that was one thing with you. You are a hard worker with it. Yeah. Maybe that's another yeah. effort you took from Tupac in the yeah. sense that he was just putting out a lot of yeah, I don't play. Like, music. Yeah. So listen, there's going to be music out there, but please go and enjoy whatever's out there now. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, and I've got music in the vault. I've just got my studio set up and that. So... So wait, are you producing as well? No, no. no. The, that you know, it surprises me because your your energy. But, but I will produce like if you sit, if you if you can know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. We we will produce, and then you just be the producer, innit? it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, yeah. Get, get you up in there. We 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 will produce, and and um, you just be the producer. But I'm definitely good on the executive mm -hmm. side. I'm de definitely good at telling you what I want to hear or what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Like if you hear the That's songs, producer I'm, within itself. Yeah. As if well, you hear the songs directed. I'm on. Yeah. I'm the influence. Like, I'm the reason why this went in the direction. I put the sample in there. Mm -hmm. I said, "Oh, break the beat off like that. Do that. Do that. Where are we? Oh, can you? Where are we? Can you?" So I've got a lot of ideas. Yeah. And then I work with other people that got the know-how, and then we gel and and, and make. But, it I mean, as I said, I just put it out there. I'm saying because at the end of the day, I feel that 
that's something that you could do. You know, I, mean? I know, I, I know. Because you remember, you're an artistic person. Like another thing I say with a lot of artists that I've you know, spoke to on, on, on the show, um, even with the acting. Mm. Have you done any form of acting? In, yeah, in yeah, Because yeah. that, that yeah, seems to be something, another thing that I see. Is there any films that you've been in that, you know I mean, people can get a little... I, you videos? know what? If you if you ever try to do acting, you know, like, half mm-hmm. the stuff you film just don't come out. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that, that so I've, I, I done. I was involved in a couple big projects or decent sized projects, and uh, nothing never, nothing never happened. Nothing never come out of it. Um, I got a couple short films. If you go on um, my YouTube Jedi Online, mm-hmm. got a couple short films there. I've been in a couple adverts, couple bits and bobs, but like yeah, nothing ever really um, took off in a major way. I've been in a couple web series mm-hmm. and this and that, and I've got uh, visions to do my own thing. Now, just quickly back to. Um, why I don't produce mm-hmm. is because I've come to the understanding that you know what I have to just I'm happy with what I can do yeah. yeah and what I'm interested in and what I can do and even though I know that I probably would make a bad boy producer I've been in the studio for hours and mm-hmm. hours and hours whole weekends when man's producing and I understand that that's a job in itself yeah, and no, I don't true, need true, more true, jobs true true, true do you know what I mean and I, I don't, and I respect what producers yeah, do bro, so I respect what you just said that. <laughs> yeah, no way. You know, all right, what, this, this is going to be a part of the show. I want to um, play one of your videos as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this tune, I think it's with you, Fire and MP5, I think it's called Set Trip, and it's yeah. one of my favourites, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm going to get Big that tune right now. Yeah, so I mean? look, I directed that video. Mm-hmm. Um, I come up with a concept, I come up with a tune, did it there. Um, there's a brother called Q Butter mm-hmm. from the from America, Queen Sides, and he's like, he like educates kids and he's like kind of revolutionary in his stance he's about he's, he's on his black power thing or whatever he had a tune he had a remix of the Cassidy Casanova set um set tripping thing right and I heard I heard Casanova's yeah, yeah it's cool mm. but then I heard Q Butters and I was like yo so I messaged him I said yo listen I'm gonna do a UK version of this man like I'm gonna do a UK <laughs> it's spin. yeah I'm feeling it you know what I mean I'm feeling like it I so then I I, I, I you know, I got the guys together, put to, um, put something down, and people felt because of the chorus, there was a lot of deliberation. There was a lot of um, because of the chorus and what I was saying in my bars. People was like, "Oh, I don't really want to be a rest. So then it ends up me artistically, Red Pill Drill as an artist mm-hmm. before drill or any of this stuff. I, I had my concept of I'm going to conceal my face in my music videos, mm-hmm. right? And the reason I wanted to conceal it, it's, it, it did. You see, you see, yeah. you see that yeah it it kind of gave a powerful kind of image because it's yeah. like a it's like a character not character it's a, it is a character but it's a yeah it's, it's a it, character it more, it's my character yeah. but it's a character mm-hmm. and like i said because of art and conceptual conceptualizing things i wanted it to have its own unique yeah. thing separate yeah, yeah, from yeah, the yeah. other things I've it did done. give it a good it, it you know gave I mean? it more of a powerful kind of thing there but yeah because there's the intrigue and then the rest of them and them they mark they mark up their face because they didn't want to get in trouble <laughs> <laughs> you get me? They were shook. They changed their names. They didn't even put their usual artist names yeah, and that. They changed their names. But me, it's Jed's, isn't it? It's, mm-hmm. it's Red Pilcher. You know it's me. I weren't doing it to conceal my thing. But it, it, the way it came out, it looks, it came out really good. It came out really dope. You get me? All right, well, we're going we gonna to play that. Hey, listen. Yo. We used to be some warriors, brothers just looking weak now. Police brutality on our youngers, they're knocking teeth out. Fit a revolution, there's nothing for us to speak about. Open up a face and watch him leak out. Used to be some warriors, brothers just looking weak now. Police brutality on our youngers, they're knocking teeth out. Fit a revolution, there's nothing for us to speak about. Open up a face and watch him leak out. When, when, when it comes to real ops, you never bang. Killing your own cat. When it comes to real ops, you never play. Killing your own kind is a crime. If it's on and you just pull out your phone, I know you're pussy. Put a burner to an officer's dome. A roast is cookie. It could be his first day on the job. I've ghost rookies and crip, but I'm down to set trip. I'm a woke cookie. It's stone cold. These young bucks are dying over postcodes. Roads they don't own cocaine, diamonds, and rose gold. With a popo, put brown babies in chokeholds. Broken bones and cocoa. 
a friend of mine. Used to be some warriors, brothers just looking weak now. Police brutality on our youngers, they're knocking teeth out. Fit a revolution, there's nothing for us to speak about. Open up a face and watch this. I yeah, know. Uh, to... Well, you can still. You can. What? You can. Let me just. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I know. You're trying to not get in trouble. I know. Yeah, no. I'm trying not to. I know. Like I know. It. And uh, then, and then, and then, um, Andrew Tate's gonna break the the internet one in a big cigar. <laughs> yeah, and I can't smoke my roller. No, you can. Of course you can. You see how they, you you see how they make us feel though. It's true though. Am I lying though, bro? Do you know what? my bad, innit? it? But man, don't try to be led by the flipping. No, thing, but you're be right because like... I'm on this. I'm kind of on similar things. I'm just trying to be a rebel because it's your team. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so all right so even like from the music on like one thing that you've been very prevalent in as well was your, your the, the podcast your shows yeah um was it the speakers corner as well that he was doing as well yeah like, there's a lot of stuff that you would i mean you talk about some real shit um and there's real real conversations real debates yeah one thing i know about you when i'm watching um the shows you're very um you're very honest and sometimes people can't really deal with the honesty too much you know what i mean it's like you're very you know what i mean you say what's in your mind and mm. I, and like i said that's that's the best way to be because at least then there's no fake pictures of you in it so tell me how did that element start with the you know obviously the podcasting all right so and- speakers kind of started because um i had a youtube channel mm. and at some point in time i just decided you know what like maybe i should try making some content so i've done a couple bits of things like a little vlog a little I did a, a 72 hour water fast and, and stuff like that. Mm. And then I was just looking for something to do. I'm not sure how I got inspired. Like I just said, yo, I see this speaker's corner thing. So let me go down and document and see what it's like for myself to mm. see what's going on there. Weren't too much going down there. I went down there mm. and yeah, just fell into some couple dope conversations or whatever. Um, linked up with a couple people there, saw them on a regular, then it just, it just blossomed, mm-hmm. turned into a little, into a little movement and um you know i could see loads of people just getting views like people just getting hella views off like me talking and that so i'm like yo let me put some stuff up with myself so i try to film myself and put put stuff up there and blah 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 and then i fell into this thing called hangouts mm-hmm. you know like where it's like a google app where they use youtube and you can live stream and da 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 and i fell into that started live streaming with the man then and I just kept going. The community kept growing. You know, the family kept linking up and it was just such a such a good vibe and so useful and it fit me mm-hmm. so well. Mm-hmm. That man just kept running with it. So right now, um, I do a live stream on YouTube probably every day of the week, Monday to Friday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like, you know, the YouTube, the, the stream could be running now. You know what I mean, like we, we got family in that there, so they could be talking or this, we get a guest on or we got a subject, we got a debate. So it's a it's a really unique thing that we got and lots of people try to imitate and, and, try, to and same, try to do the yeah, same thing. Yeah, they fall mean, off yeah, eventually yeah, or yeah. whatever, or they get the ratings and they blow. Mm-hmm. I'm used to that. I'm used to setting trends. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm not deliberately going out of my way to set trends. But, but it's, it's about the inspir- inspiration or energy anyway, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like And if they... You know what they say? Um, imitation sometimes is the best form of flattery, you know, because you're doing something right. But it can get a bit frustrating. And then, like, you know, the only issue with imitation is when people imitate and then um, don't recognize where they're going from. No, it's not even that. It's when people imitate and they can stop their fridge with what, <laughs> how they with imitating you, mm-hmm. and then you're struggling out here in the dunya. That's the frustrating thing, knowing that I'm a child of of the Most High, mm-hmm. and it's like. It's like the system is designed in a way, whether consciously or subconsciously, to fight against me. Yeah. yeah? So like the man that yeah. you lot need to hear, the real one that you lot need to hear from, the one that is going to give you that energy or that vibe or whatever, he suppressed. But the but like the the diet or the I can't believe it's not butter version. Is what do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the one that's going to kind of yeah. get out there. So that's yeah. where my frustrations lie just on a on a day-to-day basis that i got youths i got family mm-hmm. i got aspirations of things i want to do and the system tries to strangle me and suppress me suppress from you. from shining yeah, so you see that anything i do don't get the, the ratings it's supposed to get uh, unless it's from like clean-hearted brothers like yourself mm-hmm. where you you're you, you're a gifted person it's i tell you what's so mad yeah the way that i've i've analyzed society and life mm-hmm. This may be egotistical, right? To some people. 
but I can gauge your vibration on even how you receive my art. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. If you are a fan of me, because I know I'm rapping for you. I'm rapping for the rapper. Mm -hmm. I'm rapping for the man that Definitely, knows about yeah, bars. Yeah, I know rare, rare, yeah, yeah. right? So if, if you get it, then I know kind of what level you're on already. That's not even supposed to be, I'm not boosting my thing yeah, up. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm the best, but I'm the best. Do you know what I'm trying to say? That in my eyes, that's how I'm trying to attack the mic. That's what we were yeah, taught. But yeah, bro, right? like I said, and I, 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 when I hear you, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think, what, I can't remember what the show was. It was, um, was in was it north or was it in east? And he was there and he was with a couple of other men them and you did that tune. You know my tune. Um <laughs> Bro. Yeah, dirty walk, that tune yeah, that, yeah. Blood, that tune, blood, that to me as a as a fan of your art there, but that needs something, blood. That needs mm. to like I said, remember, a lot of people ain't heard it. Ain't that heard needs it. to blood, you got certain type of bars in there that make me sick. Yeah. And me as an artist, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, because as I said, if, if when I hear ABC rappers, you know what I mean. Furthermore, this is this is my this is what I've said on a, a few other um, um, with the other guests as well. If it's a thing where I'm gonna feel like doing a like, all right, I I look at artists. If I was doing a song with them, mm. what position am I gonna be? Am I just gonna be in in second gear, just sitting there like where well, I don't? Or if you make me sit up, yeah, that's when I rate your ticket. Yeah, you get yeah, me, bro, yeah. because you know still sharp and still, you know what I mean. So you definitely. On that one, but yeah, back to the um, obviously with the, the speaker's corner and, and mm. that, yeah, um, and your your show. What's the show called? Is the show, um, yeah, yeah, the channel, show? the channel is called Triluminati Live, yeah, Triluminati yeah. Live, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and you, you put up them, <laughs> you tell you where you killed me because obviously, when I see all the WhatsApps there, you've got your face in, in <laughs> blood, it cracks me up, but, but it, do, it, it goes back yeah. into your artistry, yeah, 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 do you know what I mean, and even in them thumbnails and that that I'm doing, yeah, I do little, he's talking about thumbnails I do for the mm -hmm. live stream, right. Um, even in the thumbnails I do, like, there's there's art in it as yeah, well. There definitely there's, is art in it. Like, I might pick a certain person, like, you know, I put my face in Trayvon's <laughs> body one <laughs> time, did. Trayvon Martin's body. I put my, my face in George Floyd's body. I put my face in Prince Charles's body. I put my face in, like... You know, um, mm -hmm. uh, I, I was hugging up Sinead O'Connor the other day. People messaged me like, no, nah, this is, no, nah, let's dark, bro. It's liberties. I'm saying, what's liberty? Mm -hmm. What's liberty? What? You love this celebrity so much that what? I can't, I can't put my face in a picture with them because they've just passed them. What? You see it's a disrespect. What if it's a, what if it's a halo? Like, I, I would you know say, I mean? yeah, Sinead O'Connor, she was somebody who was, she was a bit of a revolutionary person as well in the sense that. You know what I mean? Same people I even know before. You know what I mean? But she was but she was burning out there. You know what I mean? With, you know. Yeah, she's say she's saying all kinds of bits and bobs. That's great. That's mm -hmm. great. Um, she also made a lot of money off music. Yeah, so. true, true, <laughs> true in that as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, whatever, man. Listen, mm -hmm. one thing I can't do is worship celebrities. Like mm -hmm. I, I touched on it with the two pack thing. That was a a, a milestone and a lesson mm -hmm. in my life because I had certain real conversations with powerful people and I found that some. Um, some deep information, you yeah. know what I mean? And it and it helped to open my eyes. My life has been about a journey of detachment. Mm -hmm. That's and, just yeah. learning and unlearning. Learning and unlearning and letting go and yeah. detaching from, right? So, you know, observing and not absorbing, you know, um, with all these artists and rappers and rare, rare, and uh, you kind of get caught up in their little Marvel universe. You get caught up in their storyline mm -hmm. and, you know, I had to learn to detach from that because that was Niki. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, and the thing is, even with the speaker's yeah. corner, because obviously there's certain things that um, people say that you can't really debate about certain time. And those are, that's like politics, that's like religion, religion and so forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you go against that grain. Because like I said, like, you know, you know, you said that certain people love to hate you, you what you're doing and all that, or love to try and you know, I mean, imitate or just not really rate you who you are, who you are, because mm. you're a king energy, bro. you're a king. So I'm saying in the sense that, like, um, how have you found that? Because obviously there was being contact, there was certain controversy mm. on the, on the, on the speaker's corner thing as mm. well. And, and like I said, certain time there's tabloid shit. And when I, I'm going to, I'm going to touch on that mm. because I know you, and I know what you stand for. I know what square you stand on. Yeah. Um, obviously there was the incident. Obviously, I mean, I make light-hearted jokes. Somebody made it, and, and I, I wasn't going to bring it up, but 
I make I make light out of this of it. It makes, it makes me laugh certain time when they put the street fighter thing now. But obviously, what that was about when a man try and disrespect you and you were trying to save the man. I see mm. you were trying to save them. A man they were trying to attack this. Well, not attack, but they were they felt disrespected mm. when they attacked him. And you tried to save him. Mm. And then the next one of the shows I see, I see that one that big brother. Mm. And he tried to bring it to you because he's like, oh yeah, you're a bully and all that stuff. And I saw that in my head, I'm saying to myself, Jedi would tear this this person's head off, yeah. But you kept it respectful in that. But the what I'm alluding to, I, that, I, I never really had no chance, no choice but to keep it respectful. Mm -hmm. but, um, all right. So, long story short, mm. attending this place, speakers corner, man ended up having some conversations with some different types of characters. Mm -hmm. You get me? And they come from their different walks of life. They see life differently. Cool. And I keep my shit respectful, uh, you know what I mean? We'll and and I ain't really, I ain't there to try and do no one nothing or whatever. But obviously, when you get weak men and you get uh, a person that's not really concerned with your your weak uh, 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 countenance, I feel like they find it easier to call somebody a bully mm -hmm. rather than deal with their weakness or their inadequacy. So yeah, am I trying to call me a bully because I was having some conversation with a man, he was dissing me, I was dissing him. I probably maybe even started the dissing and we were dissing each other either yeah. way he called me a bitch i thought i said his mum's a bitch yeah. <laughs> he decided that he was gonna uh, take matters into his own hand, own hands i moved from speaker's corner which is a place for freedom of speech and talking to trying to get physical so he threw some punches um didn't land on anyone but obviously certain people were offended by him trying to mm -hmm. throw punches so it's like they kind of went into him he kind of went back and then he went to go jump into them and he's going to get outnumbered i'm saying this little pipsqueak he's going to get himself mash up it's long so i grabbed him to stop him from kind of dying into them and i dashed him on the floor i thought like the floor was the best place for him because yeah. he's trying to lash out yeah. and that obviously some people saw that and they're like oh yeah you lot rush this man but obviously you don't care about black people innit? Yeah, so <laughs> as soon as as soon as you see some non-black person or arab person uh, or your Muslim brother, um, you you you're skewed, you're biased. Like there's loads of Muslims and that, that are just level-headed, centered, and they're they're practicing from a place of love, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then some people are practicing from a place of cowardice, where they're trying to use the religion and weaponize the religion mm -hmm. to rally up people and ho hoist them up in a pedestal and make them seem like some kind of champion. Where maybe they weren't really that in their real life. Mm -hmm. I never really needed a gang or a group of people. To feel empowered mm -hmm. do you know what i mean so yeah man so anyway dashed the brother on the floor that kind of died that whatever that died down and then um the next week or whatever i'm down at the park three brothers have approached me like yo boom what what, what, what happened last week or did it i'm like we talking about so yeah i don't really feel like it's acceptable not like what you did I said, I said, what are you not going to do about it? Basically, innit? I can see the movements and I can see what everyone's on. They approach me. They don't never, I've never been approached like that. So I can see you lot in your little three man squad and then the crowd is building up. My man says, what do you want to do with it? Oh, yeah. Well, then I want to, I want to fight you, innit? Or I want to have a fight with you. So I said, well, fight me then, innit? Come then. And then, it's like, Mama's like, yeah, come then. And then it's like, we started walking, like we're going <laughs> to, to, to fight. So we're walking and then the crowd is, following and then his bridges are hyping up come on then you pussy oh and sorry for your language yeah, that's cool. sorry then you're this and there and there and yada 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 and i'm just like all right cool let's go in it we're walking and then like more people's jumping on like these men think they're gonna rush me so i'm just like walking around i'm just trying to keep my i'm trying to keep my back free mm -hmm. and trying to keep my peripheral like under wraps so i know where i've gone i know about crowd management i know how to control myself in high pressure situations i'm from peckham man mm. like i'm like high park is never gonna put the heebie-jeebies in me there could not. be there could be a million man there mm -hmm. but yeah obviously i know like yeah you can just get rushed here on camera rare rare so you try, i'm trying to play it i'm just trying to play the politics in it mm -hmm. walking around these men are hyping up there yeah. man, man screaming out who wants it with the muslims as if I Once people again, but going back to what you're saying, like trying to put themselves. Yeah, yeah, you, because it it's even, obvious. If you watch it, you can yeah, see what's yeah. going on. If you've got a clean heart mm -hmm. and, and you know vibration, you can see what's going on. Oh, all this aggression and oh, man's doing all kind of yeah, stretches and all that. And like, yeah, like he really wants to, he really wants to get it on. Next man's taking off his hat like he wants to fight. But if you check the narrative, the narrative is like, oh, this brother went and done a press conference after it, right, to clean up 
So he went to some cameras and he was like, oh yeah, no, Jedi offered me out on a fight when he first came to Speaker's Corner, very rare, rare, which is like semi-true, but it weren't like, I didn't offer him out on a fight. Like he's just lying. Mm. He, he was just doing a bag of um, charity fight talking. Yeah, with loads of people, and then yeah, people. But then, but then it, it, it seemed to be more about him than about what he just wants a charity. Yeah. He wants a fight. He's been doing MMA or wrestling or whatever he's been doing, mm -hmm. and he wants to fight someone that's. Un he wants to find people, fight people that are untrained. I don't see him on any scorecards of any matches yeah. with people that are yeah. training with him in the gym. He's, yeah. He was doing shoot fighters and hoist Gracie Jiu Jitsu and whatever. Rare, rare, cool. Like I rate your thing, innit? You're a fighter. That's what you're. That's what you had the time to but, but sit a, down and but, study but, 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 fighting. But, well, as I but said, now you want to wait, wait, wait. Yeah. But now you want to fight like this black brother, that black brother. That, I ain't seen you really trying to fight no Arabs, no Asians, no white people. Yeah. It's just like all oh, black man you want to yeah. fight and black man that that what that is mainly that kind of humble guys and that that you're just trying to try it on. Anyway, long story short, mm. he's gone to a camera and said that yeah, basically he offered me to a fight. And I, and, and I wasn't on it. Or I don't know why people can't, like, people's comprehensions are so dumb. Man said, you want to fight? Mm. I said, come on then. Let's go then. Do you know what I mean? And the rest is history. The rest is, like, but, but body bluffing, as we call it. Jaw jacking, body bluffing, and some next pantomime for everyone else. Meanwhile, I'm being followed around by, like, 30 Muslim <laughs> brothers. Yeah? Man's getting on like they got a shank on them. Man's trying to run towards me. I'm having to, like, back up and run, run to the side and... All these type of things, but yeah, obviously, um, uh, God willing, uh, due to God's will, no one never touch me because no, I don't feel like they they've got the hierarchy in this lifetime mm. to actually touch me. Like that's not meant for me. Mm. Do you know what I mean? They might have could have rushed me, mm. but uh, you know, like if there's a couple of us and we want to rush a brother, bro, he's getting knocked out. Yeah, yeah, true. Like, we ain't on no long true. thing. So true. You get me? The proof is in the pudding. Anyway, long story short, I seen him. I seen his powers. I seen one of his powers. I spoke to his power. Like, his power was like, yo, nah, Jed, you know what it is? It's just like you're a big black brother. I've got the video up on YouTube, yeah, mm -hmm. on Jedi Online. Where I speak to this brother, um, Abdul. It's like, yeah, you know what, Jed, you're just a big black brother. And it's like, yeah, like, you know, like, like it's like the man. It's, I don't know what he's saying. He's saying that basically they felt a way about me just being a big black brother. Mm -hmm. And they felt like they had to try and come check me. And he ain't got no issue with me. And let me come, I should come to his house and have a cup of tea, meet his wife, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Cause I was, I was, uh, incidentally near his yard. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever it is. I ended up near the brother's yard. He saw me, or we saw each other and he was on a peace and love vibe. And, but I recorded him because. I just feel like these men are a bit weaselly, bruv. And it's like, you're going to give me all the, yeah, it's all good and rare, rare, and no, it weren't that. Man, like, they basically gave the excuse that they were defending a Muslim woman, a Muslim mother's honor because I told the man that his mum was a bitch, right? <laughs> but then when I'm chatting to you, you're saying, I don't, I don't care about that brother and I don't care about his mum and rare, rare. You get me yeah, off it, camera, you know what I mean? So, like I said, once again, it falls back into the clout chasing yeah. chase thing. And the funny thing is, when I see the video of of when he was chatting or of, of the event, I swear it was in the millions. I swear it might even have been in the millions of Bro, views. Bro, listen. And, me, and the thing is, when I'm looking at the comments. Let me tell you how the system works, yeah? yeah? Let me tell you how the system works. And mm. like, you lot can take it or leave it. Bro, I've been involved in so many off the cuff scenarios here mm -hmm. where I've had to roll up my sleeve and help but i've had to roll up my sleeve and assist people mm -hmm. yeah and help people and some of these things have been captured inadvertently on camera or whatever rare rare none of those things can go viral mm -hmm. yeah you see then that brother when i said that brother's mom's a bitch and he tried to throw some punches and he got dashed on the floor bro why is that on why has that gone to um a world star hip-hop twice <laughs> But it is I've got people phoning me, bro. Like, bro, man was man was on man was man was, man spoke to Vanessa Feltz, yeah, about about knife crime in the black community and and ways that we could try to remedy. Man's mm. been on um, uh, Victoria Derbyshire BBC, yeah, and not as many people hit me up about that that yeah, than they did is. about world yeah. star hip hop. Yeah. So I say this is how the system works. Yeah. So you will get this impression, and it's like. You don't mind dirty videos going up of man. You don't like. You don't mind uh, lies about man going up. That's cool. But the truth about what man does 
and right. whatever the good vibration the real shit that we that we as men need to that we you need to see my reflection you need to know all these people like me out there mm -hmm. and i need to see people like you but you're gonna be suppressed i'm gonna be suppressed only a few people are gonna get to see it but the viral stuff is this negative stuff that actually it's not even correct it's not even it's actually, it's actually like it's what it's tabloid. Though. It's actually BS. It's tabloid, it's do you know what I mean? Tabloid, tabloid. And I realize that that's how the system works. So you know, you could do the most empower, empowering speech to the youths them, and give your testimony of your life and that, mm -hmm. and and that won't really see the light, light of day. And then you can get into a little passer with an idiot because he can't control his ego, mm -hmm. and that's the one that go viral. And not only will it go viral, but like comments that um hold a negative vibration like, are, are going to be prevalent because that's just how the, I mean, the world works if the deepest thing on what i did yeah because when i'm reading the comments and they, the way they're, they're chatting about it, man in it so i threw my two pence worth in it from a from a place of i know you in mm -hmm. it like just to correct it but then i just realized what the hell am i Fuck doing that, we don't Do you we know don't I mean? fight to correct people's... you understand so that and so i took i i, I kind of got pissed at myself yeah, 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 because yeah, there's, yeah. there was it's a draw the rap. The best feel, way is to don't leave your no comment. Cool. You get me? Leave All right, man, let them, let them go on. Because you know at the end mean? of the day, I never strayed far from the truth. Bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Unless I was in court or whatever, I never strayed far from the truth. So I feel like I've always been protected based on that. The fact that no, I never had to go and tell no lies about no one. I never had to slander no one or make up any stories or whatever. So based on that, mm. like, I'm always in a more, more powerful position, no, regardless of what it looks like on the outside. Numbers can be fudged, this, that. It don't matter. But on that, on, on in real life, with your feet on the ground, under the sky, mm -hmm. I'm realer than most of them man could ever Trust. be. In, no, that's, in, that's, that is a, that's definitely true for It's all good, man. And as I said, it's one of them ones there. With me, I don't sit here and say, I'm not a yes man, innit? Mm. Like, as, when you're, I know you as a person, innit, mm. brother? And like I said, everything I'm hearing you say here, how I know you to be, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? You're on or off camera, you're the same for me personally, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to also say in relation to even with the, 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 the tra Traumanati. 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 Yeah. Did you, you've done, you've done live shows on that as well? Like, have you done wow. any shows where people come in the audience? Have you done that yet? No, I mean, no. Uh, my first live show mm -hmm. is on October the 1st. Okay. And yeah. where, where's that, where's that going to be? It's going to be in West London. Mm -hmm. um, and you need to follow me on Jedi Online, on Instagram. Yeah, gonna be putting yeah. them all over the place. You want to follow me on my socials, get yeah. in touch, you'll see it. It's yeah. my first live show. I want everyone to come out. No, but I'm saying we're gonna put your socials. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll see that. Follow, so follow sure. and then yeah, you'll yeah, yeah. see it. So I ain't done no live shows like that. Mm -hmm. Um however, I've done a couple live podcasts recently. Mm -hmm. And um I mean how do you how do you find the podcasting though? How yeah. do you find it that you, do you I started a podcast seven years ago, right? Mm -hmm. Called Speakonomics, mm -hmm. right? And that's what I'm bringing back. So that's what the live show is gonna be called Speakonomics, right? Mm -hmm. And at first, it's like people didn't really get it. They was like, oh, well, you like to sit around the tables chatting. Oh, it's a bit long, very rare. And I was like, no, nah, this is the shit. And I love podcasts because it's like, if we was in the studio right now, mm -hmm. it's a podcast, you know? It's true. just a conversation, true. man. Just they labeled it podcast, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Conversations. And it, oh, oh, right. Con conversations is content. Yeah, oh, we could do that all day. Mm -hmm. So we have good conversations. Like from my neck of the woods, we have good conversations we talk we well before podcasts ever came about or any anything like that we had what what the elders called reasoning yeah definitely definitely, definitely. we'll sit down and reason definitely. and certain times we'd be playing games and we're rare and man's dad would come in and turn off the machine and say yo on a for reason you know mm -hmm. my reason what's going on yeah on a for reason on for sit down and talk and then he would bring up something and before you know we're in a good conversation and you're even seeing sides of your friends your school yeah. friends that you, that you never know. seen before yeah. and you're under, yeah. you know what I mean so because as I said enough time when we've had conversations I mean like right this could have gone like, when me you mm. slim and yeah, we're having yeah, yeah. conversations about well yeah so that's going to be in October mm. um, I'm going to also say obviously you've got the new project coming when's the new project going to be dropping um Ask me no questions, I'll tell you no lies, bro. Like but, nah, there's gonna be some like basically what I've decided to do is instead of holding off to do these uh projects, I'm gonna drop a couple singles. I just like because I'm so in love with the idea of albums and mixtapes and compilations because that's how I grew. Yeah. Just, just dropping a single and I don't, I don't feel uh, like you put out a full Yeah, thing. but like you just I'm, put out the appetizer. Yeah, but I'm gonna yeah. start doing that. I'm gonna start doing that. So yeah, I must uh, some music will be out soon, man. Don't worry. And in, in mm. relation to even that, like, is there any producers? I mean, further, 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 I mean, who, which producers are you working with at the moment? 
Um, I will have you watch. I, I, I won't with, uh, with anyone with with um, with a good vibe and mm. that can that can tolerate my frequency. So, so I, I've worked with the best. I've worked with big, uh, like you know, I've worked with producers that are now considered to be number one producer producers in the in the country, mm-hmm. or if not, like you know what I mean, they're, they're, their names being put up there. So if you listen to my music, you hear certain music stamps and that mm-hmm. that you should recognize and you understand that yeah, that. The funny thing about when it comes to music is, for some reason, I've rubbed shoulders and I've been in the booth and I've been around all the, the biggest um, artists and they all know me mm. or they know of me or whatever. And did it's, it's pre- you, a long you, you time. You carry a me. presence, bro. And like that presence is it's, it's yeah, there's no. I just fakeness. need I just need the presence. presence. I just need the presence in the bank, dog, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? All this presence and on this vibration and that. It's like a gift and a curse, mm-hmm. yeah? Because it's like, it's all right. It's, it's great when you look in the mirror and you see a man that you love and that you're proud of. Mm-hmm. And it's great when you're amongst your peers and you know, you get your ratings or whatever, or they acknowledge your, your gifts. Mm-hmm. But when you when you put your, your card in the machine and you realize that being an individual or being somebody like myself, who is not trying to be something, but just, I don't know, whatever it is, it is. Your you, authentic you, self. Whatever it is, yeah. it is, yeah. You yeah. see how the system penalizes you for it. Mm-hmm. So in many different ways, I've been penalized or there's been attempts to kind of suppress or hold back the impact of certain things I've done or mm-hmm. certain things I could do or certain things I've said or my actions. And that's like, that's like a catch 22. So mm-hmm. you have to know, you know what I mean? When you're raising your kids up to be individuals and be free thinkers, critical thinkers, to be autonomous beings and sovereigns and that, understand that if you're truly going to go down that road, then, and you're not going to compromise, then, you know, it's going to be a hard road in terms of the material side of this dunya. Definitely. And this is Definitely. why, even as a young Nigerian boy mm-hmm. growing up, when I look back, some of my greatest I want to say influences. I never had no role models, mm-hmm. yeah. But one of some of the people that I can rate when I look back now are like the Rasta elders, because I even from a young age I can see the humbleness in their lifestyle. Mm-hmm. You know their clothes and mm-hmm. da, 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 you go to the yard. You see the humbleness. It's not no what they call glimity glamity. Yeah, true. It's not no true. fashion. It's not no vanity true. thing. It's just like just kind of like basics, yeah. And you understand why that is because they say, what good is it for you to to gain the world and lose your soul. And I realized there's actually some kind yeah. of metaphysical truth to that yeah. in this reality where you, when you go to work, you know what part of yourself you're selling out when you do certain things and you get paid for it or whatever, you know, and if you're a traffic warden or you're a tax collector or you're this or you're a police officer or you're a social worker, you know, there's going to be a time where you get that conflict of inf- in- interest, right? Mm. And then you have to make a choice. And, it, and the choice actually is, me eating or, or you eating or you having yeah, a, a yeah. rare, and then you're going to choose yourself isn't it yeah and then when you do that it's like this is what the system wants you to do yeah of course, once, of course. once you I, do, I, get I, me yeah not fully you know i'm you I, know I, I fully, fully you know fully, what i mean in it so get, get that. i'm on a tightrope right now man so i'm trying to i'm trying to balance my shit out right so my my concept is dirty woke Mm. See the dirty walk, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? And that's the tune that you like, you know what I mean? I, love the I could tune, run man. up in your trap with a stack of cocoa. Yeah, yeah. Man yeah. wouldn't even know what happened to you. <laughs> Surround your flats with a bag of poopers. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah. that tune, you know, man. Like I said, I wish you had a video of it right there. I would have played it right now still. But um, like, yeah, so like basically, I feel like, you know, that the, the tightrope that I'm on is the dirty part is my authentic self, mm-hmm. swearing, smoking, drinking, been to prison, been this, been that, mash up man, this and that, been involved in this, know this shooter, yeah. know that guy, mm-hmm. yeah? And it's also, f-, f the police, F the system, F this, da, 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 da. so it's the anti-establishment aspect of me that I feel my journey has has brought me to. And plus my personality is the rebellious aspect of it. And then the woke side is the conscious aspect where it's delving into subjects, trying to understand things, trying to read something, trying to put input information into your mind to 
have a better understanding about your reality and about yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I mean by woke. I, it's nothing else. When I made up dirty woke, woke wasn't such a swear word. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm glad it's dirty woke. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, woke wasn't such a swear word. It was actually about being awakened and it was looking for something better than conscious because conscious is a dry word yeah. when i think about conscious like the music i make when i think about conscious rap like it's like ugh, it's just boring it's black and white it's gray mm -hmm. yeah, it, it, I, 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 for, want, for want of a better word i wouldn't have said weak but it's more um you, you kind of like bowing i'm um, gentle but you've got to do this and you've got to do that i like rebel and that's yeah. probably what it was about yeah. the two-pack thing like something yeah. that's gonna be snap somebody's mind into actual action you know what i mean as opposed to just sitting there like okay yeah exactly yeah yeah like, yeah, like, yeah. like the best no the best way I can, right, this is right. the way i can describe it you see you see marches and I'm, i don't know if you want to know on the same thing but marches to me there's not one march that i know that have happened in time yeah that's changed for that's you. changed anything exactly there's other people oh not, stop this not, not even a million man march. not even a million man march yeah so Facts. you've got that and then you've got people who actually would do something where like it's like all right we're gonna stop financially supporting this we're gonna stop action. buying from there we're gonna that's action yeah, yeah so exactly. action and then there's marches yeah. and demonstrations so action and... is the rebel yeah in it, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. the conscious is the marches that's yeah. the way that's the best word okay I cool of, yeah yeah I yeah and consciousness and the consciousness is like it's long man it, I'm not on that because like these conscious man, you know, I, I can't. Because conscious, conscious basically means to be aware. Means to be so, aware, but so like. But be aware, you can be aware, like for example, if I walk across the road, I'm aware that if a truck comes and I walk when a truck comes and he's moving fast, I'm aware that I'll, I, he'll probably lick me down. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's to me is, is in that sense. But action is to actually, you know what I mean? Do something, do something about, about yeah, it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If cars yeah. are flying down, all right, I'm going to actively put speed bumps on the road yeah. and I'm going to put a barricade there where it's going to go up and down. So you're going to have to stop. So yeah. that's basically... And I feel like a lot of people took consciousness to tell people how to live yeah. and tell people what was wrong and what was right. Mm. And I was all about self... I'm all about self-determination and promoting that to people. So I feel like, you know, I can't tell you that because you drink Hennessy, you're not conscious. I can't tell you, oh, I want you going to eat that you're not conscious obviously we can have a conversation about certain things mm -hmm. but ultimately what i know is that the most enlightened people and the people that are the most intact spiritually they they they're going through some fuckeries of course. and they they maybe even do some fuckeries mm -hmm. yeah and just to learn to separate this holier than thou concept from from enlightenment was was a a, a game changer do you know what I'm trying to say? So, yeah, so the Dirty Woke was born via understanding that nothing is without balance. In fact, man's even got a saying where they, where they say, um, God is the middle. And yeah, you can sit down and pre that for a while and yeah. it'll make sense. Okay, <laughs> see it there? You understand? <laughs> you understand, brother? So, yeah. I'm, I'm going to like say, even like I say, all right, so you've got that project coming. Yeah. Obviously, you know what I mean? The, um, the speaker's corner. And how, I mean, the, not three speaker's corner. Um, the show, how often is it on? So when, what time? Yeah, every day. Every, every day. day, Monday to Friday, usually from, you know, uh, whenever I set the stream up, you know, that's an organic brother, <laughs> you know, <laughs> trying to pinpoint. But like, I would say like from midday, most days the stream is running, but it will be running. Like even now, the stream is supposed to be on. I've got people in the waiting room. They might have even started. In fact, I think they might have even started it. See there? Oh no, like, I, wishful I, thinking. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, because I know, like I said, when I come and got him, and there's a thing where like he was saying, I'm doing the show. Well, you know, that's why, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I'll give a lot of respect to this man for giving me the time as well. Oh, man, man. Um, man. I was going to I'm gonna say, we've got to this part of the show where I'm going to um, play mm. what I do. I normally play from the actual Instagram page. Yeah. The major talented one Instagram page. I play an artist that I put up because I put up artists. Every, yeah. Every, you know what I mean? And um, I'll just get your... your yeah, let's go, let's there, go. You know what I mean? And let's like go. I said, he, like, you, you don't know which artist I'm going to put to. No. It's a natural response. I don't tell the artist, as you know, the person I'm in the car with. I don't tell them what to say. They just, you know what I mean? So we're going to, we're going to take in, um, this one here and let me say the name. Jay had a dream. Have you heard of that? All right. So Jay had a dream. I like the name. You know what I mean? I've got ratings for us. So anyway, let's, let's log into that and let's see, um, get Jedi's response. See me hard, not life. I made it look easy. Cause to see me, this ain't no freebie. Cover my face with the shades, I'm sleepy. Kind of cats ain't nine like Phoebe. 
king on my son when he wants to get freaky. No more shit stuff, they can teach me. One of a kind, alien like E.T. These man from the cube, they're creepy. Spam on my phone, all night like these G. Only few that I feel for deeply. Everyone else just a character briefly. Stepping up in the scene, shows weekly. Taking up space at the table, I'm greedy. These man call me babes and sweetie. Yo, do you know that you come across the needy? Ugh. Different with a different kind of gravy. Trust step up, they had issues with my ways then. Always looked up on the pavement. Nothing to hide in the U, it made sense. Now I'm doing character statements. Invoices, I want next day payments. Taking the piss, telling me about patience. Great seed oil for my amos. 23 years old, moving slow like a patient. Ugh. I need agency, not an agent. I need action, less conversation. Judging me, then watch your observation. Reason, I don't need long debating. Part of the reason they call me amazing. Not in my core, this is just my grazing. Not being rude, it's the way I say things. One then, shoot if you're aiming. Sounds we facing, peak, no ratings. Fuck best life, I just want savings. Your talent has a depth for my shavings. I'm satisfying real players' cravings. Conqueror like William and Hastings. On So that was Jay Had a Dream, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, what's your thoughts on yeah. it? I mean, me, I love her, but obviously I'm not gonna That's fire. shade your thing. Straight fire. Yeah. Straight fire. Um Yeah, she she reminds me of me. She's got some elements of the way she says things, she's not trying to force yeah. force it, but you feel her uh, the energy, you know she's you know she's awake to some shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that and then you wanna know more about her. Um lovely voice. Um I like the Grammy flow. So it's a bit yeah, so I'm, I'm got a bounce it. to it. She's yeah, got I'm a bounce to it. So once again, feeling it. Let me gonna put that across the screen. Jay had a dream. Jay had a dream. Her. She's sick. She's Make sure she follows me. I follow me and, yeah. and like message me. I'm gonna message you. Try to get a track with you, man. Yeah, You're man sick. She's dope. She's mad dope. And I'm gonna say also, um, in relation to like artists, I mean any artists out there that you you you, you would be um any artists that there you want to work with or any producers that you want to work with and it's not a beg it's just arts in yeah i don't care I, mean? I beg i don't give a damn yo, but i'll message you and say yo listen i just track sick is, or, but is there any particular art i mean uh, for example right, give give me a producer in the states and a producer in the uk that you would love to work with mm-hmm. uh, a producer in the UK I'd like to work with. I don't know. Give me any of them, man. A, a Still Bangles or, or or any of them. I don't really know the producers' names then, man. But any of them ones, if they make fire, I'm down. I don't care because me personally, mm-hmm. um, you're gonna, you're I'll, be working, you I'll, be, I'll be working with the 16-year-old that's in, in, in school and he's made a fire track and he's like, oh, like, do you want to rap on it? I don't, like, I don't care about that. Do you know what I mean? But... Yeah. Um, in terms of American producers, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. It'd be mad to hear myself over a Timberland beat, you know? I'm not even gonna yeah. lie. It would be crazy because yeah. I've seen his level of artistry. And even though Timberland comes across as a bit of a. Um, you know, I'll tell, um, you, I'll tell you what it is. There's something I watched the other day. Um, and it was this guy was um, break, breaking down um, one of the tunes that Timberland produced. I mean, he um, well, produced and sampled or something. Mm. And it was, a, it was the um, eight. Look, is it the the Elia tune? You really gonna meet somebody? Yeah. Like that and if you see what the guy showed, what Timberland did, and I'm telling you, blood, it was a next ten level of technique. That I'm like, fucking hell. Sorry for my French. I was like, what the hell? Like the man, he, but you know, it's even yeah, explaining. It was just smart. a mad thing, innit? And that, and the, the sound that it made mm. would show me why. To copy a Timberland beat would be a bit, you know, yeah, a bit yeah, of a nuts yeah. thing. But yeah. All right. In that case, so that's the producers. All right. In UK artists, then an American artist. Who, who, what kind of ones could you would you want to be working with? What's the group? um? I'd want to work with all the artists that I listen to. Every single one of them, mm-hmm. from from Ransom mm-hmm. to Thirty Eight Special. These. These lot are doing it for me right now. RJ Payne. Oh shit. Um, RJ. Yeah. RJ Payne. Uh, John Connor. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Knox. Chip. Uh, uh, there's so many. There's so many artists that I think are cool, and we could make a good, make a good, a good collaboration yep. with. I'm not. I'm not stush like that. But yeah, like the the guys that I listen to and the girls that I listen to, 3D Nate and all these type of chicks that I listen to. That make me push up my face, some Shane Noir. Yeah, yeah, some of the, yeah, Shane Noir, some yeah. of the goddess. All these type of people, like if you make my face go like that. So is it so so, so rock there? So rock, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so rock or whatever. Yeah, yeah, big uterus energy, she said on us. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so like I'll work with any I'll work with any artist that, that can 
that can make me feel something. Do you know what I mean? And you don't have to be a conscious artist or a woke artist or black power or anything like that, man. You could There's be like you could be on crud. Like, and I and I want to make a tune. Yeah, no, this is the I'm, thing, man. I'm, I'm about the balance anyway. Do you know what I mean, I'm the, about the, the dirty one, work. One thing I'm gonna say because obviously, um, your your creative ability, uh, or your your story as well. Have you ever thought about even putting that into a book or anything like that? Have you thought about it? Um, because I, I like I said, I would read a book. Yeah. And I can see you acting. And as I said, I've, like, a lot of the art people I've spoke to, because they've got such a creative energy, I can see these elements. Yeah. And as I said, like obviously when you said about the producer, you respect how the producer do it, so you leave that to them. But I can see yeah. those things. I can read a book by, by yeah. Jedi. I don't believe in limitations. Yeah. And, and I've had a lot of time in 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 this body mm-hmm. or, or pilot in this body to, to really reflect and contemplate and think. So there's not many things that I can't see myself doing like so for instance writing a book I already want I already got an idea for a book but it's not an autobiography or nothing like that mm-hmm. people that say to me write a book I say you hold the pen and I'll talk mm-hmm. let me you hold the pen and I'll talk can I see all that mm-hmm. or nah that's not gonna be me <laughs> have you got a voice to have you got a voice to 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 to, to text kind of machine that's gonna work that I'm not gonna have to go back and edit or whatever best way I'd, best way is if I sit in a room with somebody that knows how to listen yeah, and knows how to encourage well, more, stories most like of those kind of um, like I said I mean I've been listening to the Ray Kwan's um, the Staircase to Stage um, audio book okay I've listened to the audio book of um, Ray I've listened to the Joe, um, Fat Joe's one 50 Cent's one and, it's, so that's, and, that's and, and all it is is that obviously them man have gone to a writer mm. and they just spoke exactly what you who's said who's talking though so on, on the Fat Joe one, it was Fat Joe speaking. On the 50 Cent one, it's 50 Cent speaking. On Ray Kwan's one, it was someone else speaking, but then there were certain parts where he would take over okay. and then it would go back to the other person. Okay. Very interesting in a way, because it's like, when I heard the others, there's them speaking in it. But mm. um, what, what they do, obviously, they go with a writer. Did you like it when, when someone else was speaking, um, Ray, Ray Constant? You see, with the Ray Kwan one, it was more of a nostalgic thing because obviously I was a woo, woo head. Yeah, yeah, of course. So when he was saying certain things, I almost kind of allowed it not be to be, be Ray yeah, Kwan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you would have preferred it to be Ray. I would have, but because I knew it was coming from Ray, I still could see the vision or see the picture cool, that cool, was painted. Obviously, yeah, when, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm still getting um, used to doing the audio, listening to all the because me, I like to have it in my hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Where you've got the, your own voice in the head as the words going yeah, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. But yeah, yeah. But like I said, I can see you doing that as well because you're you're a very interesting character as well. Very, very, and a Respect very powerful character as well, who I rate highly still. Um, all right. Well, was there anything else that you wanted to kind of add? Um, anything you want to say to anybody or anything that you want to promote? Um, yeah, just I would say, um, follow me on my Instagram or my social media, you know, TikTok, Jedi Online, whatever. That's just, you know what I mean? Um, follow me, uh, hit up the live stream, watch the live stream, log into that live stream community, Illuminati Live. A lot of time and effort has been put into that. And that's that's the YouTube channel? On YouTube. So you can find you on YouTube, yeah. you can find you on the Instagram. You we can do find live you shows TikTok. and that. And hit me up, man. If, if anyone that wants to do like collaborations, any kind of creative work or anything, if you just want to, if you just want to talk and and build on something or whatever then you know i mean i'm pretty much available if i don't like your energy or, or you know, <laughs> it's it is what it is yeah, isn't it do you know what i mean exactly but you know i'm a humble brother and, and, I, and i like to talk to people and and network and mix it up so i'm putting myself out there a little bit more mm-hmm. than i have been in the past because i have my little um reclusive st- stages not even reclusive whatever you want to call it introvert I, I, I find them parts recharging bro mm-hmm. when you're putting yourself out there a lot you gotta come back and recharge your energy again yeah. because there's a lot of um, energy vampires. There's a lot of things that train your energy inadvertently. You don't even know your energy's getting drained yeah. and all that. But yeah, but I'd say today's show once again was sponsored by Bulletproof Dreams. Hey, like Bulletproof Dreams, you're done. Them up, always, man. always. And yeah, man, that was episode eleven. It's always funny, a fucking pleasure. It's, it's yeah? funny because um, one of the mixtapes are called Bulletproof Wings. See it there. Yeah, so big up Bulletproof See, Dreams and Bulletproof that, Dreams always. Big and up as I Mage. Said, it's been Catch like, me on some Mage tracks, man. Yo, yo, here I mean, me has been here overdue to make no, a track. We've, we've got some uh, stuff. And Slim and, we, and, and Slim, these man, you get me? And so all the rest of them, like, like I said, we've got, we, obviously we've got the major talented one project mm. coming, but we're going to think people will hear more about that. You're definitely on that. Um, but as I said, that was episode 11. Been a flipping pleasure. 
You know what I mean? How yeah, learned man. some more things. Nice. You know what I mean? I mean, I knew a lot about him anyway, mm. but I learned some more things I might not have known about, and I hope you lot have learned about him. Subscribe and, to this channel, yeah, man. Subs- please, oh, yeah, man. Like, you know I mean, hit the notification button. Yeah. This is one thing I never really said, because I think it sounds cliche, yeah. but subscribe, like, share, yeah, man. Hit the notification bell, and let's get this going. Give him his flowers, man. If you look no made, you know the energy. You know what it is. I'm not even going to guess it. And if you don't know, you're watching and you can feel it. He's <laughs> an authentic brother, man. That's it. So, like, you know what I mean? And he's a, he's, he's, he's a, he's a bastion in our community. So we have to protect man like me. Do you get That's me? My thing, eh? <laughs> anyway, but you're done, though. Yeah. And it's always blessed. Like I said, episode 12 coming soon. Respect, done, though.